fucking try to play me. Get the fuck off my goddamn property right now. Get the fuck off my property. Ma'am, we're trying to no, make... No, you know what? Get the fuck off my goddamn property. Bye-bye. Now, at first glance, you may think to yourself, well, this is her property. She has the right to act how she wants to. But you have to compare it to how you're treated when the police show up. Best believe, had this been a black person, a Mexican person, that would be a totally different situation. They would have been attacked immediately. What? You know what? I'm count to three and I will be fucking liable for every fucking guy that gives it. What? Ma'am, come talk to us. Ma'am. All right, bye bye, Felicia. Ma'am, come talk to us. No. This, in fact, shows us. That they do know how to deal with irate people. They just don't want to deal with most of us in this manner. Now, this woman is screaming, yelling. They're still very calm. Ma'am, ma'am. But that demon starts coming out of her. Plainly, you see it. You know what? There's no guy. Ma'am, come talk to foot. You want to fucking play your shit? No. 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 I didn't fucking touch you. Ma'am. They are still, ma'am, ma'am, talking real calmly. This woman is showing super strength. I wonder would they treat her the same if they knew that they was dealing with a demon. No, you know what? I didn't fucking touch Come you. Here. No, Come you here. know what? You fucking Come play here. that shit on my yeah. fucking... You know what? You know what? I didn't fucking play with all that fucking shit. It's fucking you. You know what? You fucking play that shit. Stop. No, yeah, it's stop. fucking... Calm down. Chill out. You get the right, fuck... Chill out. I didn't fucking do Chill anything. Out. You have to understand what manner of people you are dealing with out here on the streets. Now, I wonder all these people who get to argue and they get to fight on these streets, would they act the same if they knew they were dealing with somebody that was possessed, somebody that was a damn demon? This is full-fledged possession. The demons are irrational, immoral, and unintelligent. A lot of times speaking like a child filled with profanity. I didn't do anything! You know what? I didn't fucking do anything! Fuck you, bitch! I didn't fucking do anything on my goddamn property! I didn't fucking do anything! You know what the fucking property fucking... Can we unlock it? Yeah. You know what the fucking property fucking fuck goddamn fucking injury! Fucking your your hand. Hand. They won't fucking show that shit. They didn't fucking do shit. Fuck you, bitch. They didn't. We have straight I didn't do yeah. shit. You did shit. I was shit. trying to arm up another. Uh, I didn't do shit. Can we get up you there? Did. Again? Let me guess. Well, Prophet, she got mental issues. You still don't get it. Mental illness comes from sin. Sometimes the parents sin, and sometimes the individual sin. I hate to break it to you, but mental illness is possession. I didn't do shit! It was you, bitch! It was fucking you! I didn't do shit! Fuck you! It's my gun! Damn, I got a fucking fucking apple. It was fucking you! I fucking did it! Get the fuck out of my goddamn fucking hey, garage! Stop. Fuck you! Get the fuck out of my goddamn garage! Fuck you! Fuck you, bitch asshole! Close out! Close out! This is a real live demon. And these cops keep mamming, ma'am, ma'am. That's not how you deal with a demon. You insult that demon. You get it to cast itself out. You get it to acknowledge itself. The world we live in is set up for demons to thrive. Because if you put somebody down for having mental issues or get on their helmet, which drives the demon out, but it first upsets the demon. You hear the cops say she bit the fuck out of me. So 
toes out. Come on, fuck it. Stop fighting. Now, demons exist, and they are everywhere. Now, I want you guys to really pay attention. I've seen a lot of fights. I've seen fights with crazy bites in person. I see the female bite somebody in their chest to the point her teeth met. Like, and I ain't never seen nobody pass out from a bite. There's something deeper going on here. Dealing with a demon is exhausting. That's why after you get there arguing and dealing with a big thing, you feel empty and need rest. Join me, Professor. I'll, I'll get my dinner on the way. I gotta go pee first, please. All right. I can't catch you. Just stay right there. Hold my hand out. I'm holding your hand. Listen, do you have hepatitis? You think you're going to pass out from the fight or from. Hold me first, please. Go one, two. Bro, it's your best fighter. You want to get him on the ground? Make that code three, please, for the ammo. Let's get him down. Is he secure? Yeah. Well, well, well she good? Back. Okay. Stay, good just stay on the ground, okay? Okay. Well, you passed out. Well, well-known fact, Sonny Jim, that there's a secret society of the five wealthiest people in the world, known as the Pentaveret, mm. who run everything in the world, including the newspapers, and meet tri-annually at a secret country mansion in Colorado known as the Meadows. <laughs> 